succeeding in what you were never asked to do. Wasted life, purpose, gift. And that's why this series on the kingdom is so important. It helps you rediscover your royal gift. I just signed a contract with Warner Brothers, Time, Mike, Time, Warner and Time Brothers, Time Magazine, uh, for a new book project. It's coming out in November. They paid me a lot of money to write this book. Because when they, when they saw the, the content of the manuscript, they said, we want to publish this. It's going to be one of the biggest books I've ever released. The book is called In Charge. It's a leadership book. The book is on the philosophy of Jesus and his concept of leadership. What a mind he had. One day, his disciples were arguing about greatness. And by the way, every person in this room wants to be great. And don't you lie to me. Some of you are frustrated because you haven't made it yet and you've been around for 70 years. But you want to be great. No human does not want to be great. And in this book, I talk about the fact that the, the desire for greatness is normal and divine. If you have no desire to be great, you are not normal. You are in denial. As a matter of fact, Jesus did not discourage the desire for greatness. He encouraged it. Let me prove it. The Bible says, he overheard them arguing and saying, who is the greatest among us? And he called them aside and said unto them, if anyone desires to be great, I'm quoting him now, he did not discourage them, he did not attack the desire, he actually showed them how to achieve it. If anyone, how many? Anyone. Why? He knows that everyone wants it. If anyone wants to be great, he says, they must become the slave to everyone and the servant to everyone. What does he mean? Oh, this is good stuff. When I did the research on the word servant, slave, it blew my mind. It had nothing to do with subservience. The word he used means to deploy yourself to the world. If you want to be great, serve your gift to the world. To do that then, you must first discover your gift. And that's your problem. You haven't found your treasure. That's why you got a job. All the great people in the world, genuinely great people, if you study them, and in this book I do a lot of research on these people, starting with Abraham himself. When you discover your gift, you automatically become great. Tiger Woods never went to a school of greatness, never took a course in leadership, never took a course in marketing, never took a course in supervisory or management, and the guy is influencing the world. He found a gift, and he serves it the world when you find your gift they will find you I'm gonna say it again when you find your gift they will find you this is why if you want to be a failure be an imitation you were not born to imitate other people you were born to be yourself Mother Teresa what a woman never went to a college she was a high school teacher in India. Left her job because she found her gift, helping the poor. She refined it, and guess what? She spoke to the United Nations. Greatness. The future of a seed is not ahead of the seed. It's trapped in the seed. Your future is not ahead of you. God hides your future where he knows you can't miss it. And you keep looking for it, that's why you can't find it. <laughs> it reminds me of a story of a man who lived in Texas, a true story. This is guy owned a farm in Texas and, and uh, the whole area was just farms, just like this area some years ago. And, and 
One day he heard the news from the West Coast that they had struck oil. And they found gold out there. And he decided, I want to strike it rich. I want to be wealthy. I want to be great. And so he put his farmer for sale. And the farm was probably worth $70,000, $80,000. He sold it for $38,000. Cheap, because he wanted the money quickly to go and buy some donkeys and some pickaxes. And he wanted gold to prospect on the West Coast for gold and oil and he wanted to strike it rich and he bought the donkeys and went west three months later the man who he bought the farm sold the farm to who was his neighbor was out dealing with the cows and he began to dig for more water on the same farm the guy sold it for thirty-eight thousand dollars and this black stuff started coming up out of the soil and he began to realize that this is the largest deposit in texas of oil it's a true story and that man in an instant became one of the wealthiest men in America from a $38,000 farm. When the man on the West Coast got the news that the farm he left and sold, that he was sitting on all his life, was grounded in oil, he fell off his donkey, they said, and had a heart attack. He died. What's the moral of the story? What you're looking for is right where you are. So I've come here to dig for oil right in you. You're listening to me. Your future is trapped. You are treasure carriers. Your gift is waiting to be deployed. And the problem is you've been employed. You work all your life for that company, man. And never became yourself. When the book comes out, please buy it. It'll change your life forever. Because we've got to get the six billion people on earth to discover the gift so the world could be filled with the glory of God. If people find their gift, there'll be no more crime. You know, in the book I talk about, I had this revelation from the Holy Spirit. He says, he says, you know, greatness is like a seed becoming a tree. You know, if uh, watch this. If you take an apple seed and you plant it, it becomes an apple tree right from the inside of the seed and it becomes fruitful, apple fruit. Uh, here's something about trees with fruit. Fruit is the gift. Trees will never bring their fruit to you. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? If you want their fruit, what you got to do? Go to them. You see, when you find your gift, they will come to you for it. I watched Tiger was the other day, and 3,000 people walking up and down the golf course behind his left hand. They come to him. They, they, he, 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 he gets going back. They go back. Hey, boys, oh, he's coming back. Hey, I mean, this, this young fella, he even ain't 38 years old yet. He got them old folks running behind him, watching him. Why, they're following the fruit. How come no one's looking for you? Because we can't find your fruit. This year, I've received over 800 invitations to speak in one year. 800. And never once gave out a card. I refined my gift. I refined my gift. You are loaded. Don't let the cemetery get it. In the book, I talk about how everybody's actually named Jack. That's why they ain't great. It's either Jack or Jacqueline or Jackie. Jack of all the trades, but they master nothing. And that's your problem. One thing with, a, with an apple tree, it never grows mangoes. It never grows bananas. It never grows oranges. It only grows apples. How come we confuse with you? You keep changing your career. What are you known for? That's your greatness. Deep inside of you is a gift screaming. Let me out. Your energy is trapped in your gift. If you feel tired, it's because you haven't found your gift. You have no energy. You feel sluggish and lazy. You haven't found your gift. If you found your gift, you wake up early in the morning and go to bed late. That's why the Bible calls it slave. You become a slave. Not to the people, but to your gift. 
you serve it so much you become a slave to it and they call you great so while you're sleeping I gotta study you see so when you wake up I could teach you I'm the slave not you so you think I'm a great teacher I'm up all night and you're sleeping who's really the slave see that's that's what I mean by greatness the Bible says a little slumber a little sleep and poverty takes you like a band a bandit you see if you don't find your gift then all you get is a salary Oh, I wish I could be here for a couple more days. See, that's why consultants get paid more than employees. Consultants have a gift. What you got is a trade. And there's a difference. He, Jesus said, even as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve himself a ransom. He is a ransom. He's a serve ransom. That's what makes me great. Wow. What do you serve us? What were you born to give us before you die? Hi, thank you so much for watching. Please remember you can support our work on our Patreon page and you get access to exclusive content and full videos. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and click the notification bell to be the first to receive newer content. Please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends to be a blessing to them.